Hi there. I try to follow the Odroid Go wiki to create a homemade Odroid Go using parts available. Uh, I find that it cost me around 20, 21 US dollar and I purchased it from Hong Kong through Taobao so the shipping is much cheaper. If you made it from US, it may cost you close to the US dollar 30 dollar. That is the actual price on the market for the real one. So you might as well get the real one. Hi there. I follow the instruction of the Oldroid Wiki on the GitHub on the circuit diagrams that are open source and try to create a homemade Oldroid Go and I get it done so this is the Oldroid Go system Let me go back to the main menu where you can have all the different type of emulators games you can select one of them you can load up your favorite emulator like this one and then you can play shut down the lights I haven't um, put in the amplifier and just use this small piece of speaker so the sound is not high. I use the 500mA lithium battery and there's a headphone jack so I can hear louder sounds if I need to. The core of the circuit is this ESP32 uh, roofer, VM roofer module. It has a uh, come with four Mac of RAM, fresh RAM, and uh, another four Mac of X RAM, uh, which is a requirement of Old Joy Go. But the documentation said you need a 16 Mac fresh RAM, so I upgraded the RAM myself by desoldering the original four Mac and upgraded it to 16 Mac. Uh, the cost of that is pretty low, just ten dollar. Chinese dollar, not US dollar. You can buy these 256 megabit chips. Um, that's from Moonbond. I can show you the part number after the video. Then you can just take out the original one, desolder it or just cut the, the legs out and then put it on top and solder it back. So this um, M Rupert module from China has got an SD card, not SD card, it's a TF flash card slot but uh, it's tied to some different keys which is different than the old joy gold schematics. So I can't use that one. I have to use the ones that come in with um, the 2.2 inch TFT display. So there's one bigger SD flash RAM slot here, which is quite big. And there are some five pins there. So I just show that these five pins according to the specification of Ojoy Go to the, the pins in the documentation. For the uh, TFT LED, I just showed all the pins according to the specification. Show the pins to the uh, buttons. Uh, put in the battery. This uh, V-Roofer chip has a battery management so I don't need to put in the charger just use the onboard USB to charge the battery now it's running from the battery and the 
good thing about this one is that uh, there is actually a uh, battery monitor. Let me go back to the main menu. Yeah, so there's a battery monitor here. Monitor the battery. Right now it's about 80% charged. And if you charge it using a USB, it will go to 100%. So this is the interface. The I put a power button here, headphone jack, and USB port. So now the battery is being charged, and momentary is showing a full 100% battery, but that's uh, really not true because it's powered by the USB. Okay, and then let me show you another Game Boy game. Let me show you what are the other emulators. So we've got the Nintendo emulator, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, but not Game Boy Advance because that was too complex for ESP32. It's not fast enough to run that emulator. Maybe we need to have a Raspberry Pi Zero to run that. So for Game Boy, it only stopped at Game Boy Color no more advanced. Then you have this Seeker, Master System, uh, Game Gear, uh, this one I don't know what it is, it's not used in Asia. Uh, I think there is also Atari, Atari Mega. Yeah. So let me show you the Game Boy one.
Phase Invader. Game boy color. Give me one key. The Pokemon. There are also other third party games, but if you want to access to that, you have to uh, hold the B button power off first, then hold the B button and then you power on. Then you see this third party software. The other emulator, you can order a carrier emulator. Uh, Another step. And you can even play it too. Yeah, you can try. This long term system allows you to flash any ROM for the games or even an operating system. For example, you can flash the micro. Python into your ESP32 by just pressing this A button and then the start button. You will then flash um, automatically the micro platform firmware into the ESP32's flash RAM. After that, you can uh, connect the USB ports to your computer and then use the micro platform wrapper tools called our cell um, that allows you to to interact with the micro platform machines running in the ESP32 uh, through the serial ports so when you stretch uh, you will see the black screen because the LCD uh, will not be will not be used okay now you see the black screen and so you type this command to uh, connect to the micro Python engine running in the ESP32. Then you use the Rapto command to open the console and interact with your micro Python. Simply it can ask it to print 1 plus 9 equals something. Put in a black text. So then you can program uh, the micro pipe to run a game or display something on the LCD. Okay. 